The crowded royal programme mostly demands speedy travel, and the Duke, after leaving the Queen at Portsmouth, flew by naval helicopter to Las Merodrome to open the National Gliding Championships. The Duke, as patron of the British Gliding Association, was welcomed by leading officials and wished good luck to Mrs. Rika Harwood, one of the only two women entrants. For an air-minded royal enthusiast, the opportunity of a glider flight was eagerly accepted. And soon the Duke was experiencing the thrill of his first glider launch by aircraft, though this was his second actual flight. Accompanied by an experienced instructor, the Duke took over the controls and was soon soaring over the Hampshire hills into the silent world of powerless flights. In future years, sailplane enthusiasts will carry on the memory of the Glider Pilot Regiment, which has been grounded by the Army Cuts. It was in 1944 that this regiment, 1,400 men in plywood aircraft, flew into Holland to share with the Red Devils the battle honours at Arnhem. Now, at Middle Wallop, the regimental depot, light aircraft and helicopters salute the passing of this brave force at a farewell parade. Colonel Commandant of the regiment, Lieutenant General Sir John Eldridge, inspected serving members and old comrades, men who had shared most of the regiment's battle honours. Farewell to the regiment that took as its motto, nothing is impossible, and then proved it against overwhelming odds.